Thank you back. There can't be no wobbly bits. Well, whilst competing at the World Championships, I noticed that there was other countries such as Morocco, Iran, Iraq, um, Turkey competing and the hijab wasn't a barrier for them. Um, they would wear their hijab and compete. So that's what actually um, inspired me initially. Well, I think it's quite unusual for a Muslim female Bangladeshi coming along to a gym, training in a combat sport. Um, in fact, one of the most devastating combat sports in the world. So that isn't the norm. So they would, they felt a bit uncomfortable and I can, I can sense that in them. Okay, go. Good. Yeah. Turn your hands right out. That's it. Good. 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 Cross. 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 Just one, two, three, four. One. Good. Good. Nice. The, the hijab will definitely empower them and make them feel that they can take part in sport and be taken seriously uh, rather than walking into a gym and not having the right head gear on or hijab on. Um, this will make them feel confident, make them feel safe, make them feel like they can just concentrate on training rather than worrying about whether it's going to come undone, um, the fact that there might be male present. So all of those things are taken out the equation so they can focus on the one thing that they're here to do which is train. It's quite reassuring that we can do stuff as well. Um, it shows us that we're, we're free to do things as well. It's not only a boys dominated thing, so now girls can do it. I mean, look at Roxana, she's a champion. So knowing things like that, it really encourages people. And just a jab. Good, good jab. Good jab. Good cross. Good. Sorry, breathe out. Hit the pad. Good, good. 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 Again, one, two. Good cross. Cross, double jab, one, two, good, cross, and two, three, one, two, three, good, again. The swimming, for, for instance, and sometimes they don't always have girls only swimming sessions and or with female lifeguards, so I might feel a bit embarrassed to go swimming with boys there, and I think that has restricted me, my mum, a lot of my friends, but yeah, um, if, if there were only female facilities or segregated facilities, I suppose, I think that might encourage more people to come. It's American one. Oh, come it's on. American it's American Rogers. Sandra, what's your name? What were you doing? Hitch. Hitch. Hitchhike. Yeah. Hiking. Mom, you keep posting Go. it. It's her phone. <laughs> 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 I believe when you do any kind of sports, especially any kind of martial arts sports, it really builds willpower. And this is what I meant for the girls, sort of, to be stronger as well, sort of mentally, they're sort of, ah, oh, I can work um, another hour, whether it's studying, I can, I can push myself that one hour more. the girls really really wanted to as a mother um yeah i'd be saying okay uh if you want to practice the sport whatever in public if you're comfortable with it okay that's fine as long as you're holding to your modesty and you know not having to compromise your religion okay, we're going to do conditioning so uh, let's have perfect just there yeah. and you kick just there oh, it doesn't oh, matter about the curve it's all about keeping the shape nice that's just there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 